I'm Seth from the First Tech Challenge Team 9779 Pieters, and this is a robot that we like to call the Rescue Runner. Our Rescue Runner is based off of the Annie Mark design for the Tile Runner. Last year we saw a lot of robots with uh, successful drivetrains that had enclosed wheels and we thought it was a good idea to try that out. Um, and we were also looking at the Annie Mark Tile Runner and we thought we'd give it a shot, but instead of using the Annie Mark kit, we decided to use leftover pieces from the Rescue Games Mountain. And that's why we call it the Rescue Runner. As a six-wheel drive train with a drop center wheel, it drives well and it's very sturdy. Our Rescue Runner is built out of parts from the Mountain from the Rescue Game. As you can see, we use the side panels and the Euro board, as well as the churros when making the Rescue Runner. First thing we had to do was decide how big we wanted this thing to be. So what we did was we measured out the side panels to make sure that they were the appropriate size. We then cut them on the table saw using a metal blade. Once we finished cutting and measuring the side panels, we then decided to mount the motors. When mounting the motors, we decided to face mount them just because we're used to doing this. Uh, this is how we did it on our other robots. We also did this because of size constraints and simplicity. When face mounting, you need extreme precision. To do this, we use the gearbox cover as a guide for our holes. We also decided to use direct drive with this motor on the center wheel, but if we were to make this again, we would like to try belt driving. We also used the churros from the Rescue Mountain. We tapped both ends and then connected them to the chassis using quarter 20s. Here you can see it's starting to take shape. Both the front and back wheel are connected to the direct drive motor using a chain and sprocket system. When mounting the axles for the wheels, we used whatever bearings we had lying around. In the bottom middle picture, you can see that we're using a tensioner to remove some of the slack in the chain. Here is it nearly complete. On the left, you can see the motors and how everything connects together. And then on the right, you can see we mounted a piece of Euro board to add uh, structure and also a place for mounting electronics. And that was our rescue runner. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comments section. And we'd love to see your version of the rescue runner with all of its changes and improvements.